okay, this are some typical questions lah ya. Yeah. Uh, cuma uh, ada two questions saya rasa yang tak directly. Yang tak directly uh, ada dalam apa saya punya uh, powerpoint slide yesterday. Ya yeah. sebab uh, macam the third question the what are important external and internal factors affecting a first rising vision. Uh, I think something that maybe you may want to find. Uh, uh, daripada buku ke dan you know uh, maybe articles ya yeah, about about the firm price decision. Uh, and the uh, second last question. Uh, factors affecting uh, product positioning effectiveness. Uh, I think just, uh, just uh, question saya masukkan. Ya yeah, just to again maybe uh, Maybe you can also use kan, what has been uh, kan, gone through for the past a few lectures yang kita dah ada. Uh, you boleh masuk selitkan kan di element of kan, uh, factors yang mungkin uh, mempengaruhi eh, effect, effect the, apa, the way uh, the product is being positioned. You just apa ni lah, some questions that I rasa could be related. Ya, yeah, just to caution you eh, kalau masa uh, kita go to the examination ya sebenarnya. Konsep-konsep yang kita dah uh, kira-nya dah, 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 dah go to lah in terms of rising, uh, the product itself, ya, yeah, the, the place tak banyak sangat ni discussion on that. Uh, but probably also promotion. ya. Yeah. So make sure that you're able to capture and try to understand. That's why I kata kalau boleh, try to do the questions of tutorial yang saya dah letak dekat spectrum. Time to do it. But, tapi jangan just cut and paste ya. While you doing it, try to actually comprehend and cuba fahamkan apa maksud sebenarnya. Uh, daripada kan, uh, daripada explanation, daripada apa yang ditulis kan, adakah you faham betul ni? Sebab uh, my exam question will be application question. Bagaimanakah uh, huraikan uh, apa pendapat anda tentang yeah, that would be sort of question that we've been to ask you all nanti. Yeah. It's going to be your apa ni. It's not going to be direct you are already a third year student. Yeah. Belajar tahun tiga saya expect you all to explain further more than what saya letak dalam powerpoint slide ataupun daripada buku tu je. That's why I think it's best if you just keep, keep on reading and reading. Yeah. Cari buku Philip Kotler ni. I really like this book, yeah. I, I really like American books sebenarnya. And they would have case okay, studies, explanation further, yeah, of what the uh, particular concept is, yeah. Kalau tak faham, uh, buku bahasa Malaysia ada, eh. saya rasa I've seen that book somewhere before. Like library, it's just that. Uh, library alam bina dah dibuka eh, semenjak hari Isnin hari tu. Itu dah bulan. Tapi ada imitation lah, eh, after apa. Dibuka pada Isnin hingga Jumaat. Ya, yeah, boleh datang tapi cuma I think uh, for you to come to campus there, there is an SOP to to be adhere to ya yeah, kalau nak, nak datang lah. Yeah. So we just apa ni. So okay, um, okay let us sekarang kita uh, look into itu lah. Soalan tadi saya dah uh, saya dah share with you uh, just for you all to open it. Let me now uh, kita, kita tengok case. Masuk dah ya. Okay. Okay, let us look at the case. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is something on pricing sebenarnya. Yeah. Uh, boleh tak saya minta siapa baca? Maybe a bit sampai mana ya? Yeah. Baca sampai paragraph. Itu mungkin kot paragraph boleh. Paragraph atau paragraph. Yeah. Uh, paragraph 1, 2 and 3. Dulu saya, kalau saya ajar management, saya suruh uh, any of the students to baca the thesis uh, being, being given to them uh, according to the groups and uh, group numbers lah. Uh. Siapa tak nak panggil baca? <laughs> Siapa nak volunteer baca? Siapa? Uh, Chua? Chua, are you in? Tak ada. Saya baca dia, saya nak ambil nama daripada bawah lah pula. Adibah ada? Tak ada. Tak ada apa yang jawab. Uh, Choose switching. Switching ada? Ada. 
Ada. Ah, okay. Bila kita baca, kita baca uh, paragraph 1, 2, 3 boleh? Tak apa. All of us will be apa kan? Uh, looking into the... Uh, hopefully you all have the article with you all ya. Yeah? Uh, tidak baca je screen. Uh, you can see the screen di sini. Boleh nampak? Boleh nampak? Ya. Yeah. Boleh nampak ya. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is a case uh, on Amazon versus Walmart. Okay, Amazon you all tahu lebih kurang maybe you all know. Walmart is a big retail outlet, ya. Yeah? Dulu a very famous one, lah, United States of America. Yeah? Uh, so this something on fighting it out online on price. So we just have a look at what the case is all about, lah. Okay, boleh baca just paragraph one and two and three saja. Boleh? Cuba baca. Uh, read out or? Read out, read out, read out, read out. Read out lah, so everybody pun perempuan tengok lah, ya. Yeah? Sebab so, kalau kita scan tu kena, orang tak faham, tak apa, tak faham. Saya cuba explain lah, okay. 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 So, less than a decade ago, okay. no one okay. believed that Amazon posed a credible threat to Walmart. After yeah. all, Walmart was the world's biggest retailer, mm -hmm. selling everything under the sun. Okay. Amazon was just an online upstart, known mostly as a seller of books and CDs. Back then, Walmart's revenues eclipsed Amazon's by more than 120 times. But what a difference a decade makes, although Walmart still dominates the physical retail sphere and remains the world's biggest company to boot, Amazon's growth has put it squarely in the sights of the brick and mortar giant. Mm -hmm. These days, it seems everyone is comparing the two. Ali had Frazier, Coke, had, Coke has Pepsi, the Yankees have the White Sox, and now these two heavyweight retailers are waging a war online. The weapon of choice, prices, not surprising, given the two combatants' long-held, low-cost positions. The price war between Walmart and Amazon began three years ago, with skirmishes over online prices for new books and DVDs. It then escalated quickly to video game consoles, mobile phones, and even toys. As stick, um, okay, can you see? I'm um, okay. Estic, not only no. the fortunes of the two companies, but also those of whole industries whose products they sell, both online and in retail stores. Price can be a potent strategic weapon, but it can also be a double-edged sword. Oh, thank you. Thank you, CJ. Yeah. Okay, that was a good opinion. Yeah? Uh, so, what does the upper, the upper, the three paragraphs are trying to uh, tell us? Apa dia nak beritahu kita? Uh, what does it say? Uh, while reading? Yeah, you the importance of price. Ah, okay, good. Ah, summary tu. Ah, betul. Ah, okay, the thing is nampak kan because it just started off to just uh, macam give a background lah eh, of what, uh, where, where Walmart was and where Amazon was that time. Yeah, so decades ago lah. Yeah. Uh, so Amazon just grew, grew. Memang dulu saya cari saya buku yang eh, nak cuba ya uh, kan, so second hand uh, Amazon cari. Yeah. Uh, Ali Ali I I tujuh Ali had Fazia ni. Uh, ni ni we talking about Mama Ali and Joe Fazia. You know, uh, they were two even with apa ni lah. Uh, Ali tinju eh many years ago in the 70s. Orang memang tak ada dah. Parents pun tak ada tidak lagi kan. Uh, 70s then ya. Yeah. Coke had Pepsi, Ali yang kita buat sok dan whatnot lah. We're talking about heavyweights. Uh, nak kata heavyweights ni lah. Uh, nak kata competitors uh, in a way. Yeah. So in the case, we kata what is the weapon of choice? We're talking about prizes. Prizes that these, these two kayaknya. Retailers ni, these two retailers sama rada dah move into online and as well as has retail punya outlets as well. Yeah. So this is what we see also now. Yeah. All the products kan dah banyak dah bertukar daripada what is being sold then. Yeah. Uh, so it's sometime ago, just about the price law. So, siapa nak baca, baca lepas tu? Nanti saya panggil lah. Uh, Lee Wen Yu, are you there? Uh, it's been a while, I think. Uh, ni. Ada? Tak dengar suara. Wen Yu? Not there. Okay, Amira Adisha, ada? Oh, not there. Ada. 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 Ha, okay, mungkin kita baca boleh. Baca dalam oh, tiga parah. Ha, mungkin pula kita baca. Kita try to understand what it's all about. Okay. Uh, Amazon is 
seems want to be the Walmart of the internet, our digital general store. And it's well on its way to achieving that goal. Although, okay. although Walmart's overall sales total was an incredible 444 billion last year, mm-hmm. nine times Amazon's 48 billion. Amazon.com online sales were nearly nine times greater than Walmart.com's okay. online sales. Moreover, mm-hmm. Amazon, Amazon.com tracks more than 100 million unique US visitors to its site monthly, more than double mm-hmm. Walmart.com number. Mm-hmm. When analysis when analysts mm-hmm. estimates that more than one half of all US consumers who look online for retail items start their search at Amazon.com. Mm-hmm. Why does okay, this okay. worry well okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why does this worry well mind? Okay. After all, uh, online sales account for only 7% of total U.S. retail sales. Okay, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Okay, mm. Because I, did, uh, I was doing, doing a, a research on online shopping uh, last year, uh, which uh, research which I did with Radin in Malaysia. So we also went through some of the data juga lah. You know, currently actually the online shopping punya, punya ni kan? punya uh, sales account pun memang currently pun tak tak ni cuma dia naik sikit saja I think especially during COVID-19 tapi actually doesn't rep- represent a huge percentage of uh, retail sales uh, itu yang a bit surprising for now lah to me eh? because although now we nampak everybody is adopting I don't know whether the trend of the retail sales online too is going to go up and up and up itu yang cuma I've not I stopped my uh, research as of end of last year eh? So, tak tahu that the trend too is going further up. It is just just for you all, for your information. Yeah? You can monitor and take it. You can always see online. Because my research was mainly on to see online shopping. Punya, punya trend. So, that I would like to see whether there's any impact to the uh, ni, the existence of shopping mall. Do we need more? Uh, do we need now shopping mall? Now that online shopping is apa kan? Nampak orang semua dah shop online. Uh, this is something tapi ada banyak factors lain aku that could be affecting that nah, that was apa so I stopped then lah so I started continue sebab country pun habis and then the fund pun dia dah apa ni dah digunakan ya okay ada that's it lah just apa ni okay ah, ni saya sambung okay I'm, uh. Walmart captures most of its business by offering affordable prices to middle Americans in its more than 4,400 big and motor stores mm-hmm. by okay. comparison according to one analyst, Amazon has made its name by selling mostly to affluent urban needs who would rather click with their mouse than push around a okay. cart. Mm. But okay. this battle is about. Samuga? <laughs> but this battle is about now, it's about the future. Although still yeah. a small market by Walmart standards, online sales will soar within the next decade mm, to wow. an estimated 15% of total U.S. retail sales. Mm. And increasingly, Amazon.com owns the online space. Oh, Last okay. year, Amazon.com sales climbed 40% compared to the, compared to the peri- prior year. <laughs> Even more important, okay. Amazon.com's electronics and general merchandise sales, which compete directly with much of the selection found in Walmart stores, are growing even faster than its overall sales. Wow, okay. Uh, so, nampak Amazon, cuma uh, saya, sorry, kalau cerita sama Amazon, kita, kalau uh, this is some time back, kan? the, 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 the case is about some time back. Tapi, uh, it's good, nampak, nampak, actually, the online sales, Dekat Amazon is from the affluent urbanites. Ah, satu maknanya kita tengok eh, accessibility of people ah, ni, going online tu, maknanya dia punya platform must be there. Be it 4G, 5G, ada gadgets and equipment apa kan, and the apa, peranti yang ada kan. Ah, so, you know, so all this also perkakasan and, and that's very important ya. Yeah? Accessibility also to be able to do shopping online also is another important. Tapi cuma ni saya yang saya suka, suka the term tu, a fluent urban night suit, rather click with their mouse then push around the cart, maknanya dia tak suka keluar and push the cart around to shopping lah tu ni ya and something, this is also, this can also look into kalau factors tu tengok um, ni apa behavior factors ya uh, not something yang dalam affordability factor, affordability factor. Uh, so this is something which yang kita kena 
maybe research on further lah kalau nak tengok kan the trend. Yeah. Okay, now next, apa nak tutup baca? Battle begins. Apa nak ni ya? Uh, bila ada lingkai, are you there? Ada <laughs> lingkai? Tak ada? Uh, tidak, Brian ni kot, bukan you. <laughs> okay, okay. So the battle begins. Ah, okay. Okay, go ahead. Amazon has shown a relentless ambition to offer more of more of almost everything on the internet. It started yeah, yeah. by selling only books online, but mm. now it sells everything from books, movies, and music to consumer electronics, home and mm. garden products, clothing, jewelry, toys, tools, and even groceries. Mm. Acquiring numerous online retailers like Zappos.com and Diapers.com has helped this rapid expansion. Mm. The, the online retailer is even beefing up its private label section, adding new lines mm. of Amazon branded goods. Okay. If Amazon.com's expansion continues and online sales grows as predicted, the online sale seller will eat further and further into Walmart's bread and butter store sales. Mm. In fact, as lower income consumers become more tech tax savvy, Amazon.com is even pulling in Walmart's traditional customer bargain hunters making less than $50,000 a year. Okay, 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 saya nak katakan, uh, I think a bit about Walmart ni actually, uh, kalau dekat apa certain country, dia ada one macam super store or hyper store per market that offers uh, affordable prices yeah, for the punya product yang dijual. Yeah? So Walmart is known for that. Yeah? So maknanya those yang lower income will apa, will shop dekat Walmart and then dia ada macam kasih kupon and what not. Yeah? You shop maybe a certain amount. Okay maybe you can collect maybe berapa kupon, kupon RM20, RM30, RM30 and then you collect that for for the next shopping something like that. Yeah? So my, Walmart is actually trying to target those those shoppers lah. Yeah? Gitu yang ni. So, cuma now you nampak, Amazon is trying to also capture into masuk that segment as well. Ha, so, tengok this is how down the war is going lah. Yeah? Okay, Anna. Kita sambung lah, uh, Brian. But Walmart okay. is not giving up without a fight. Instead, it yes, is okay. taking the battle to Amazon home territory, the internet. internet. Through aggressive pricing, it is now fighting for every dollar consumers spend online. Hmm. Walmart fired the first shot before the 2019 holiday shopping season. It announced that it would take online pre-orders for 10 soon to be released hardback books. All projected bestsellers by authors such as John Grisham, Stephen King, Barbara King, Sover, and James Patterson at an unprecedented low price of just Nine point nine nine dollar each, the same price that Amazon.com was already charging for ebook versions of bestsellers download to its Kindle or other readers. To take it a step further, Walmart.com also cut prices by fifty percent on two hundred other bestsellers, undercutting Amazon.com's prices. When Amazon quickly announced that it would match. Walmart's price on the 10 bestseller, the price war was on Walmart.com, dropped its price to $9. Amazon.com did likewise, did likewise and Walmart.com lowers its price yet again to $8.98. So, nampak kan? So, nampak the war between these two kan, big retailers and Walmart uh, ni, ni turun, uh, Amazon pun announced kan uh, by two <laughs> so both of them were fighting ya uh, is prices uh, over the uh, just a simple apa ni kan book book punya kan dah ada ebook version most of us uh, kan book sellers pun dah ada ebook version now they are selling that ya yeah. okay uh, ke uh, by day now you dah cukup endo tak nak sama lagi dah ni <laughs> bagi peluang online ai lain pula okay sure <laughs> tak apa nak sambung ah uh, basan ayu dah but it's not you then. You then? Uh, yes, doctor. Ah, okay, we can move. Uh, this low book prices represented a 59% reduction of list price. 
much more than the 30 to 40 percent reduction you might expect in traditional retail bookstores such as Barnes and Noble. In fact, Walmart.com and Amazon.com discounted these best sellers below cost as so called as so called lost leaders to lure shop to lure shoppers to their sites in hopes that they would buy other more profitable yeah. items. Today, the book price war continues and it's having an impact beyond the two primary combatants, causing collateral, causing collateral damage across the entire book industry. When your product is
possible that Amazon will have pulled off the impossible, becoming the second largest US retailer with only one more to pass. Mm -hmm. Amazon also has diversification in its DNA. It recognizes that online commerce is just one element of a comprehensive strategy. From its beginnings, Amazon has invested heavily in acquiring and developing technologies that are allowing it to branch into online services that form an entire online ecosystem, capturing every aspect of a person's life, from entertainment to social networking to mobile communications, all with links to its online superstar. In addition to its highly recognizable online brand, Amazon. Sorry, online brand Amazon.com spots a larger assortment than Walmart and an unparalleled online customer shopping experience. Its sophisticated distribution network, built specifically for internet shopping, means shipping is always fast. Mm -hmm. And with Amazon Prime, it's even faster and free. Okay, okay. Thank you. And yeah, who, who else would like to volunteer? Siapa lagi? Saya panggil sekejap eh. Siapa nak? Uh, Fariza, ada? Ke Alia? Tidak. Aini, ada? Tak ada? Nurul Huda. Ya, okay, okay. Tak apalah, saya tengok saja. Just nak finish off dia sikit lagi. For now. Ah, ni. The double A is what? Double A is what? Kan, yang ni. Kat bawah tu. It's what? For now. Ah, ni. Yes. Okay, I'm starting. Cutting. Okay, itulah. Okay, well, low price is enough. Some, sekarang you all dah ada experience online shopping kan. I think, I think all of us have, have done that. Eh? Especially during sekarang this COVID-19 lah. Uh, now that we have experience. You think low price is the only key factor yang kita, kita buat shopping? I mean, we tengok price, kita rasa kita nak beli. Is that uh, the key think, factor? I think it's the price uh. plus the reviews to make sure you're getting yeah, the price. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, betul. Ya yeah, kan? Uh, because you want to be, kenapa element of trust kan? That trust. Because when you look at reviews, you get the reassurance yeah, of kata okay the product is good. Yeah? When they receive the product is as expected dan sebagainya kan? 
So that is uh, memang very important. I think we do to be the one supporting because kita perlimbangan, kita tak nampak eh, we tak experience lah. That's the key word that they put there. We, we, we cannot experience it, ya. Yeah? Kan, uh, this is where dia kata kan, dia kata. Uh, the price, product selection, speed, convenience and overall shopping experience. Uh, kan, di situ kita nak nak tengok the product itself. Tapi sekarang ada uh, ada banyak teknologi that now I think I don't know. I think those yang can invest in teknologi. I think some retailers put in certain uh, apa lah kan dalam dia punya. Because I went to also an online shopping punya ni webinar eh. Uh, last month I'm taken ya. Yeah. So we had retailers talking about how they going to prepare themselves by uh, by help, by making their website more accessible and more apa ni. So that when you go there, you boleh some or other have that experience as well by looking into the picture and apa kan, all this technology be able to apa lah. Tapi I don't know, I, I'm waiting to see kan what what is going to be apa lah developed eh, in, in terms of that uh, consumer punya experience lah, eh, customer experience that is going to kena make apa, apa further lah eh, in this online shopping. So itu semua lah, people are saying uh, would the physical uh, store remain? Yeah, what will happen to the apa lah, retail uh, mall? Can would they be still be there or be going to be converted into another form of you know uh, activities for the community ke dan sebagainya? Ada uh, something lah. Ini banyak benda kita boleh research on lah. Uh, because uh, you all nanti will be there in the future for you all to explore further. Uh, the impact of that into the commercial property market. Ah, uh, the, uh, the tenants, uh, the tenants punya experiences. Ada uh, rental juga di pay macam mana kan? Maybe they can they be having only smaller physical stores because they be having their online store eh, for uh, for the customers to uh, buy dan purchase and these these are things yeah uh, for future punya apa lah uh, for you to apa ni this one this one for you to ah uh, okay ada kita tengok the question ya yeah. uh, can consumer actually depend whether Amazon Walmart or has of has lower overall prices I don't know. Can you all open it? Explain. Uh, has lower overall prices. Did the uh, dalam artikel tu mention tak? Can consumer determine tak? Whether Amazon or Walmart has lower overall prices. Tapi cuma I do know that they've been apa kan? They've been uh, waging wars against each other. Ada kan? Is it against each other? Tapi I don't know the pricing tu then one um, brings it down, the other one pun put it further down. Yeah. Tapi cuma ada, in terms of books, yes, I think I would agree with the apa lah, ha, publishing houses punya comments, you know. When you lower a price for a certain book, you know why? And then many issues that the value of a certain product tu has has little value. Because kan kita belajar concept price, whereby the price represent the value the consumer, kan, enough of that certain particular product. Kan? Ha, then you can also apply that to houses lah nanti ya. Ataupun any uh, property that you going to up on the price ya. Yeah? Uh, in terms of price, you mentioned, remember eh. As I mentioned, price can represent rent. Can represent so many things. Ya, yeah? the price. So itulah. It, it, apa, it, macam now, people don't value so much of the value for books. Publishing house, maknanya somebody who wants to sell a book. May not be apa lah. I think that they nak do and, and apa buat more books. Yeah, like those days we, we all buy physical books but now you can also get books uh, online but I do know uh, the prices also I think they have set apa lah, unless these two stores and big stores they are waging wars and pushing down the prices of books and something which the publishing, publishing houses do com comment lah, I mean, it's like that comment, yeah. What do you think, I mean, ada tak anybody would like to tackle question one? Hmm, siapa saya nak panggil? Uh, Fazian lah. Ada? Tak ada apa lagi? Ah, ya. Ha. Okay, rasa-rasa kalau question one tu apa rasanya jawapan dia? Can consumer actually determine whether Amazon and Walmart has lower overall price? Can consumer actually determine? Boleh tak you rasa? Hmm. Tapi saya rasa... Saya rasa macam tak. Tak? Ya. Yeah. Tapi saya rasa boleh tak kot, kalau dia ada kan uh, website, kan kita boleh dia buka website tengok price dia berapa, 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 now because dah online shopping kan. I rasa, uh, tapi salah dia tu actually determine, can actually determine, I, I'm not so sure. Because uh, kadang, can the physical, so I don't know kan what is the regulations being, I mean on in terms of pricing. Macam kita ada apa, kementerian apa kan that set, that masa that set, 
uh, the regulation yang mengatakan pasal siapa nak menjual dia mesti letak harga kan harga produk kan dan sebagainya kan sebab ni buat actually saling being saling so di, depending as well lah kan because I do I do see ya ada juga people comment because kalau dia jual online tapi tak letak nak harga yang dia nak jual tu this is actually something yang menyalah menyalah di undang-undang ke ataupun regulation that is input up the by the authority ya kemudian apa ya ha. so I think tu lah actually determine kita pada nak ok kalau terang tapi kenapa dia rasa tak ha, kalau saya boleh <laughs> tapi rasa tak ni sana seorang Sorry doktor. Ah, ah, sorry doktor. Rasa... Sangkut sikit. Hujan lebat. Ah, okay okay. Kenapa dia rasa tak? Uh, uh, is that a, a reason kenapa dia rasa tidak? Eh? Tidak boleh turning. Uh, kenapa dia ada lower overall prices? One or the other. Tak ada. Tak tahu. I, I think unless you are buying um, you are looking through many a range of different items you won't be able to get. Ah, ah probably lah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a good answer lah ni. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, because all depends lah kan. On what you have. They can, both of them are selling quite a range of products. Yeah, over time I mean, saya nampak dia, especially Amazon lah, from just book, they expand to more and more and more things. Yeah, to apa. Because, well, but memang lah, it sells everything. It's just like uh, Tesco and what not. Saya nampak eh tapi itulah retailer susu di Malaysia also changing ya. Ha, saya tak ada Tesco dah tukar into Lotus. And then ada Lulu lah ha, uh, now coming in. There used to be apa lagi ya. Ha? Uh, itulah. Nampak kan some stores uh, tu. We'll see. Tengok the changes because of the impact as well. Uh. To me it's also impact of the online shopping ya. So how uh, the retailing and uh, shopping will evolve ya. Of, the, of how we do shopping now later in the future. Okay. The second one for Amazon and Walmart, is it important to have a lower prices or to have the perception of lower prices? So, so what is what it is? For Amazon, they are important that to have lower prices or perception of lower prices. Why? Ada siapa nak cuba? Syahira, tak ada. Big one. Ikuan ke? Siapa nak cuba? Ya, saya tak tahu. Ha, ha, what do you think? Important to have lower prices or to have the perception lower prices? What do you think hmm. for Amazon? From the point of view of a business, I think a perception of us. Yeah, okay. You have the same thought with me, yeah. <laughs> perception hmm. of lower prices is too important, kan? Yeah. Ha. Because you know, bila kita nampak kita nak pergi somewhere tu, kita where can we get this at lower prices? Uh, to me, so far I've got, got this uh, perception of my din lah uh, to buy my apa lah, low, uh, low price punya item. So, kan? uh, and then I want to go to apa, uh, so I'll go to another superstore lah yang yang mungkin lah. Uh, ni. Apa, uh, the British ni, uh, ni, British punya superstore tu, uh, that I'll go there to get something a higher price in item ya yeah? so ni tapi for amazon are you, what do you think amazon the important to have low prices or perception because i think what they're trying to put here is that because walmart has all the while had had the perception of low prices yeah? amazon people are testing to see the product that they are offering so that's why they're offering lower prices sebab dia nak apa ni Nah, attract people, ya. Yeah? Tapi cuma the the kan the the word the term just now use kan, uh, benight kan dia rather push the button, ya, yeah? and shop online rather than pushing the cart, kan. So that's not important uh, consideration juga lah. Who are you targeting your product to, ya? Yeah? Uh, tapi cuma sekarang, you can tengok eh, uh, kita kan Malaysia be surprised ya. Yeah? We are one of the lah uh, ni highest number of those yang pakai online punya ni, ha, ni gadget and what not ya yeah? so and uh, and social media punya <laughs> punya users so this price ya yeah? kita kita are quite attack savvy in terms of our communication ya yeah? so it's quite quite happen the number tu quite ni sebabnya retailers can make use of ni lah ha, 
to to do shopping and selling online actually in Malaysia. Yeah. Okay, the third one, just how far should I do Amazon or Walmart? Take the tactic of worrying on price uh, based on based your answer on Twitter one moment in the text. Okay, so in the battle of for online dominance, just how important is low price? Yeah, and how important are the other benefits that Amazon and Walmart each deliver? Uh, okay, the last The last question. For online ni, for online dominance ya. Yeah? Apa lagi? Uh, Fawaz, tak ada ni. Izzat, Melissa. Tak ikut tu dah nama je ni eh. Minyau, tadi ni ada. So, uh, yes, doctor. Uh, yes, you are jangan. Okay, try. Okay, the last question. What, what do you think? Just how important low price ah. For me, oh, low oh, price ah. Oh, oh, oh. uh, when started is important for us to like attracting the customers but yeah. need to have a benchmark for the low price oh, okay sure okay, okay. So, yeah. so, so if, like, mm, if so, we yeah. can't just put the price to become lower and lower and lower and lower yeah so, yeah i feel like it will lose so, the customer value yes actually you get a uh, more sales revenue through offering uh, a price yang maybe bukan so high kan macam Amazon did uh, for a while kan dia targeting urban market ni kan urban ni urban people that that are willing to pay slightly higher tapi so, sales revenue was uh, higher yeah, than Walmart itu yang you know so it's something uh, tapi they got to tengok jugalah uh, kan whether the uh, the segmentation the segment that they entering tu is really segment that really wants their product Ha, ada sesuatu yang memang retailers have got to really do a study lah ya. I mean I, I kata memang retailers are facing so much of apa. Tapi tu lah like we do see local entrepreneurs yang successful. Ah, uh, Tapi semua tu I don't know lah eh, siapa yang especially the Malay, Malay ladies lah eh, di sini. Ah, uh, Macam Ani Rufa or well uh, or apa ni kan. Didi Yusof for selling the tudung uh, with the product punya ni. Although she had suffered for a while lah. Eh, tu apa lah. Social media juga lah punya ni kan punya news and what not, I don't know eh? to apa, she was a speaker masa seminar yang saya, webinar yang saya attend tu uh. of course dia kata memang masa she had entered uh, to do business online but now she's now moving into also physical stores, that's a strategic location just to apa lah, tapi dia kata dia punya, dia punya online punya platform tu has got to be very uh, efficient and effective, maknanya kalau apa, the customers are looking for a certain product, you will tell where you can go and uh, view it uh, and purchase it at the physical store if the, should the, kan, the customer wants to view it uh, physically. So nampak kan because everything dalam tu must be very apa ni, very um, informative eh, and uh, tell your customers of things that you like to sell. So nampak kan, so this this is coming uh, selling this in terms of pricing ni, they mention just apa lah ha, semua tak, dia tak exactly cakap setting the price, they just uh, talking more about price war lah and setting prices on for online shopping nah, for this article. Nah, this is something which I thought nah, this that relate a bit of prices yeah, and value that customer place nah, on a certain product that will actually reflect the price lah, in a way. Yeah. Although cuma tadi the, because the price war tu that tend to lower the price yeah, for a particular product which is I, I thought is not, lah, not good actually. Okay that's, that's just for the case for this week. Yeah. Okay let us now let's say Okay, uh, ah, okay. Nanti kan kalau kalau question untuk this, what is price? Then you will all know what price is, yeah. Then uh, when and then many names that you can represent. Uh, this something uh, what price is all about, yeah. Kalau kita jangan ni. And what the basic pricing methods for property product? Ah, uh, saya ada kan show in my slide. Uh, maybe kan these are uh, some of the ways that the uh, ni the developers may use yeah, to, to put the price on their product. Uh, mainly, tapi most, most I think product developers, tak kira which uh, type of product, they want to cover their initial cost sebenarnya. Everybody wants that. Yeah. Itu yang paling important. Uh, internal external factors affecting firm pricing decision. Okay. Uh, 
is something uh, you all uh, may want to explore, especially as near to competitors, uh, who are your competitors and the market acceptance of the product. Uh, something important. Uh, components of promotion. Okay, I should actually put the question, uh, what are the promotion mix? Okay, yang uh, apa, uh, a seller or a program uh, developer we want to use. Yeah? Promotion mix, jangan lupa lah. Kan? What are the mix available? Yeah, for uh, my question would be, nanti later on I would be asking, promotion to what would be the promotion, the best promotion mix for a certain development that has this particular product. Uh, yeah? So I want you all to just uh, put in, there's no specific maybe, uh, can I, I look into your, apa, the way you explain. Kenapa you rasa advertising is the best or maybe uh, personal selling is the best, okay? I want you all to put that, your your, your reasons for that, yeah? Itu je, I just want to know how you explain for each and every answer that you're putting down. Boleh, ya? Yeah? So, I just want to see how you all ni. So, letak je, jangan, jangan takut, ya? Yeah? There's no specific apa ni. I would like you all to just put down your reasons why, kan? Anything that's what bila people ask you, especially in interviews, you're able to put in some facts in, yeah, based on what you know and uh, lain sebagainya. Yeah, so don't be afraid, yeah. Uh, set involved in selling process, okay? Uh, kan ada, uh, because uh, this will be such as promotion punya activities, yeah. Uh, especially when those and you are engaged in a real estate agency punya punya activities. You may have your negotiator with working under you and what are the things that you do yeah, to actually assist yeah, your negotiators to do the selling. So these are uh, things that I would like you all to be uh, aware of. Yeah. So okay, that's it. Uh, ada siapa nak tanya apa-apa lagi? Cuma saya nak minta um, you all do the questions lah. Yeah? To be able to open it. Because those are the my my exam question will be applied questions, yeah. So I nak minta you all a bit of open it. Tahu benda tu dan just cuba explain a bit, explain a bit, yeah. So in my I I do a class just before exam code, yeah. Just to apa, assist you all to go to back what you have learned. Maybe ah uh, maybe tap tapa yang attend the class tu ah uh, hopefully I'll be giving some some tips to apa dah ya for you for you all to be ready. Ya. Yeah. Okey. Okey, dah siap. Ada siapa nak tanya soalan? Saya tutup ya. Okey, ada siapa nak tanya soalan? Tak ada. Dah. Dah penat. <laughs> nampak nampak gambar ni semua. Oh. Ah. Ni awak ni tengok tak ada? Tak ada. Tak ada ya? Okay, okay, thank you Minya. Kan ada juga orang respon ya? Okay, you on. Okay, tak ada then, okay that's it. Okay, I'll see you all again next, next day, boleh ya? I'll start the class again. Hopefully, there will be no meeting. I hope to meet you all lah ya. Uh, because that will be my last class with you ya, eh, before Puan Sharifah uh, takes over ya, eh, uh, in week 8. Okay, okay. Terima kasih. Okay, I'll see you insyaAllah next week. Bye, thank you you all. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Dr. Dr.